Hey everybody, so I wanted to go over how to rack kettlebells. So at some point as you get to progressing to heavier weights, you'll go from a gobble position to a rack position, whether that's two kettlebells or one kettlebell, but they'll both translate over very similarly. So again, as we're going to progress, going stronger, we'll end up using two, but also as we get stronger, we start using two kettlebells where using the approach of kind of like a, like a we're going to just muscle it and curl it up is not going to be very efficient or safe. So what you want to do when we get starting to use two kettlebells, especially heavier ones, you might be able to curl or muscle up. Again, we don't want to be doing jerky motions. We want to do efficient motions to get it up safely. What you're going to end up doing is essentially a kettlebell swing to the rack position. So feet will be a little bit wider as we go through. Again, kind of like a double swing. I'm going to pop coming close and then reset my feet to the position that I want so that I can do a squat or a carry. In this position, I don't want elbows flared or like off to the side like so. This puts all that strain on the shoulders. What you want to end up doing excuse me, is kind of think of squeezing the lat. So fist is straight locked in. That's going to engage the core. If I'm out here, I'm not able to gauge the core as well, and also put strain on the shoulder. So I want to be squeezing tight, locking down as I'm holding that kettlebell. And similarly, to unrack, what I want to do again, we're going to come back, we're going to pop, and then adjust the feet to where you need them to be. Again, squeezing those armpits, fist tall. Again, I can do my walks, I can do carries, lunges, like so. And then to dismount, I'm just going to spread my feet a little wider coming down into like a kettlebell swing position to offload them. That's going to be the safest way to do that. So as you're progressing, big things, you want to swing together up so you're not having to muscle. We then want to lock our, those armpits in so fist is tall as we squeeze, not out to the side, but locked in tight. And then as we unrack, we'll adjust those feet back out to use the momentum to drop them down so it's not a hard jerk. So keep that in mind next time that you're doing double rack position.